This segment is sponsored by Martin Supermarkets. Many of us are more than ready to head into these summer months, and with warm weather comes great food. The experts at Martin Supermarkets helped us to cook up just the right recipes. Take a look. Summer is here, and that means it is time to fire up the grill and have people over for your next Definitely. summer barbecue. Chef Britt, the experts here at Martin's, are going to teach us a few tips to really elevate our next get-together. You are yeah. going to be winning all of the stars for hosting yeah. with all of these tips. Britt, I cannot wait to dive in. What do you have for us? So we're celebrating our grilling sweepstakes. So starting Love June that. 4th, and all of these things are kind of in that sweepstakes. So you buy them, you get points, and then you can win. Grand prize winner is gonna get a Weber grill, Johnsonville okay. cornhole boards, and a Martin's gift card. Second and third place winners also get a gift card. So. I kind of use that as my inspo for this menu today. It's a bonus because you're probably going to be buying these items anyway Definitely. and then be entered for your chance to win some really incredible prizes. I could use a new Weber grill. We all <laughs> could use a new grill for hosting yeah. all season long. So you've utilized some of those items that are a part of the sweepstakes Definitely. to really put a beautiful spread together. So how are we starting? I'm so really excited starting, about this one. Yes. So we're starting with the burger. So the CJ Pub Burgers you can find in our meat department, those are included. Mm -hmm. There are so many different flavors. I just use the original today because we're going to fancy it up a little right. bit. But they have like a jalapeno cheddar, the original, um, they have a regular bacon cheddar, all oh, kinds of yum. different flavors. Ready to go, so if you're hosting and don't have time to make all your patties and stuff like that, you can just go grab those. Easy enough. You don't have right. to do any a whole lot of prep work with these, but we've got the buns ready to go. Yep, so Aunt Millie's buns, which are also included. The Ooh. buns, brat buns, and hot dog buns. So I have the burgers. I think the only thing then you have to worry about for the buns, if people like them, which you already did. I did. Toasted or untoasted. Are you a toasted? I'm a toasted. And I'm also a lettuce on the bottom because then it helps kind of absorb all those juices and it doesn't sog out your bottom bun. I, how have I not thought about that before? <laughs> Nobody wants soggy buns no. this summer. <laughs> no soggy buns. Okay, so are you letting me do the honors yes. here? Okay, yep. so we are putting those, those buns. Are some, I mean, how put them beautiful are those burgers? They're, and they're amazing. Big they, and they're... I wish you could smell this at home. What are And how are we topping this? So one of my favorite go-tos in the deli, we have a craft beer cheese dip that's already ready oh, to and go. And it's fantastic. It's so good. I use it probably too much, but that's okay. I love it. You can never have too much beer cheese. No. That's just so our So I like to grab this and just get some crumbled blue cheese and put that right over the burger. Okay. Um, easy go-to. Okay, so you warmed it up a little yeah, bit. I just throw this in the microwave just to warm it up and it's ready to go. We, so. We're going to do the teamwork over yeah. here. So you're pouring on the, the beer cheese. And you're going to get a little messy with these. Have mm -hmm. enough cheese. We're adding the blue cheese on top. Mm -hmm. We're adding the blue cheese on top. Can you <laughs> can you have too much cheese on a burger? I don't, think, I don't so. think so. And don't be scared of blue cheese for those. This kind of, you barely get that little bit of bite. Oh, I'm but not it just, scared it, of it. I love blue cheese. I'm not I'm scared of it. Lover. I mean, look at that steam. I mean, these are fresh off the grill. But what else did you throw on the grill? Okay, so this one I'm a little out of the box with, but it's fun. So. I was thinking, I was like, wait, what's that one childhood memory that I remember? And immediately when you said it, <laughs> I could feel in, in the roof of my mouth yes. this childhood memory. So I go to the it? beach and your mom pulls out that bologna sandwich. On white bread, of on course. On white bread with yellow mustard. Mm -hmm. And I was like, how can I fancy that up a little bit? Because kind of all sticks together yes. and it kind of gets stuck in your teeth in the best way possible. Yeah, because <laughs> in the sweepstakes, the Eck Ridge bologna is included. So I was like, what can I do with it? Mm -hmm. So I took some bread from bakery, toasted that up nice and good yeah. and then grilled slices of bologna. So, so it's also a twist on the fried bologna sandwich yeah, as well. Yeah, a little it, summarized. Because this you is know? not your average slice of bologna. Look how thick that is. It is. So you ask your deli just to cut it for you like that. I just scored it a little bit and then I um, brushed some yellow mustard on it before I threw it on the grill. I mean, just and to kind of caramelize it. So great. So yes. I love that it also is not just a typical bun yeah. as well. So you're kind of adding a little Something bit a little of variety. To your grilling this yes. morning. Yeah. Also, so hot, just came off the grill. <laughs> yeah. Smells amazing. And then, how are we topping these, Chef Britt? Okay, so I had to then, I was like, how can I do yellow mustard without just yellow mustard? So right. I was like, let's do a yellow mustard slaw. So okay. I sliced my um, cabbage, okay. and I like to slice mine just because I like a little bit chunkier than what you're going to get off the that. bat. Yeah. Especially for a sandwich. We want it Some to be Vidalia hearty. onions, you can just okay. toss that in there. And then, what is in this bowl? So, a little bit of olive oil. 
mayonnaise, a lot of yellow mustard, mustard seed, and a little bit of red pepper flake for a little bit of heat. Okay, so and then that some salt right and pepper. On in. Yeah, We're putting that right on in. So this is definitely one of those items you can do as a, you know make it ahead of time. Make it ahead of time because we have one that, that you already to, made. Yes, you want to mm -hmm. toss that together yep. really well, and yep. this is what it's going to look like yep. when mm -hmm. it's finished. I mean, look how beautiful. And you said you can do this the night before. Definitely. So you don't have to do a lot of because you want that dressing to kind of like soak into that cabbage oh, and stuff we like that. Do let's top these. Yes. I mean. Don't oh, be shy with it. I'm not going to so be shy good. with that. What a fun take because I'm sure that this is not, as you mentioned, your typical go-to menu yeah. item. But we're going to probably be eating a lot of hamburgers and yeah. hot dogs this summer. Why not think outside of the box mm -hmm. and do something a little so bit like, nostalgic? Your childhood sandwich, but you know, with a Elevated. twist. Elevated. It yeah. is the grown up version <laughs> yeah. of that white bread bologna yes. sandwich we took to the beach or that fried bologna that you love so much. Definitely. Okay, we're topping it off with a drink. Now we need something to go down. So I grilled some lemon slices. So I'm just going to kind of put those one in the cup and then that Ooh. smokiness from the lemon with the lemon LaCroix is just going to be a little refresher. Ooh, this could be a little mm -hmm. mocktail. I'm yeah. sure you could also elevate that and make it a cocktail. You could. How fun is so, that to yeah. grill? the lemons yeah. and have a little bit of an extra treat. Yeah. What else is a part of the sweepstakes? Because you brought all of the I sides. Did. So all the Oots chip flavors, um, the Jack's pizzas, and then these awesome Heinz, which they have like habanero and chipotle flavor. Oh, different I ketchups. love that. Those are included. The raw and the pre-cooked Johnsonville brats are included. All the LaCroix flavors and of course Pepsi, all their brands and Dr. Pepper in the 24 pack. I love that. I love that there's even pizza involved because a yeah. lot of people are taking that to their outdoor ovens. They're grilling it yeah. as well. I mean, really the options are endless, endless when we are talking about our summer barbecue season. Of course, Definitely. be entered to win the sweepstakes and those amazing prizes right here at Mark. Oh, a beachside bologna sandwich. I never thought that that could look so good. Check out Martin's Supermarkets for all those recipes, so much more. You can visit them on their website or check out their Facebook and their Twitter.